Julie, three months ago, you captained the U.S. Solheim Cup team to the biggest comeback in the history of the event. Today, you were named captain for the 2017 matches here in Iowa. What brings you back for a second time? Uh, it was just a, a great experience. I mean, I've been very fortunate in golf to do a lot of great things, and that by far was uh, my favorite thing I've ever done in golf, just to be with the, the girls, the ladies. Um, they were all great, the caddies. Um, it was just a, an amazing experience for me. Take me through that conversation when you got the news. Um, well, Vicki Getz called me and, and Ackerman and, and uh, said that, uh, you know, they had a, a meeting and, and they would like me to do it again. Um, would I be interested? And I jumped all over it. Um, you know, I, it was great doing it in Germany, but to be able to do it in the United States um, was really something I was looking forward to. What does it mean to you to be able to do this a second time? Well, it means a lot. It means, one, the girls want me, yeah, which is, uh, you know, a big thing. I said, you know, unless the girls, you know, want me, I don't, I don't really want to do it again. They are all unanimous that they wanted me to be captain. So um, that was a great, um, you know, to hear that. And then to do it again in the United States, it's, it's going to be amazing. Uh, I think the crowds here in Des Moines are going to be uh, unbelievable. Uh, you know, we do really well in markets like this. So... Um, they're going to they're gonna have a great surprise here. Like Germany, who had hosted the, the Solheim Cup for the first time, this is the first time it's being held in Iowa. What are you kind of expecting in Des Moines? I'm expecting great crowds, uh, a lot of patriotism. Um, there will be a lot of people wearing their red, white, and blue. Very loud. Uh, and, you know, the girls love playing in front of the crowd. So um, I think it's going to be a, a great venue for us, for the LPGA and for the European Tour. Um, I think it will really showcase women's golf. You're the fourth captain to repeat in the history of the Solheim Cup, joining the likes of Kathy Whitworth, Judy Rankin, and Patty Sheehan. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty good list right there. Um, well, you know, I think it's. Um, I mean, I'm very happy that Mike Wan and the and the committee voted for me and wanted me to do it again. And uh, you know, because I know there's other people that really want to do it and they should have their turn. Um, but to be able to do it in the States is what I wanted all along, so this is awesome. What do you think it is about you that made you a successful captain? Well, the girl, it was, I mean, I didn't do, I didn't hit a shot, so, I mean, I didn't really do anything. I just tried to make it easy for them to go out and play. I mean, they're the ones that, that did it, so, um, you know, I'd like to, you know, I can't take um, responsibility for any of that. They, they played great, and on Sunday they played amazing. Um, just to, to see them um, rally like they did was, was incredible to watch. Now your team mounted the biggest comeback in the history of the Solheim Cup to win the matches on Sunday in Germany. What was it motivating your team that afternoon? Well, I mean, it was weird. I mean, I knew we were down a lot. Um, I think, you know, uh, I never really got into the whole numbers thing. I just knew how many matches. And I just thought, I, I know, the whole week, I just never thought we were going to lose, and um, I just tried to convey that to them. You know, you got a chance to go out and do something really special. Um, you know, we had a little incident that morning, Sunday morning, and um, you know, I think um, they were they definitely learned playing for each other and and uh, what that meant. So um, it was a great comeback. Um, it will some, be something they'll never forget, and I know I won't forget. Uh, just the way the whole back end was just red was amazing. How much of a role do you think that incident played with Suzanne Pedersen and Allison Lee in those four ball matches Sunday morning in motivating the team in the afternoon? Well, you know what? We'll never know. We'll never know. Um, but I think it. I think it definitely played somewhat. Maybe um, a little bit on their team and a little bit on our team. So, um, but you know, it just it's that's hard to predict. Do you think that'll have any effect on the matches in 2017? I hope not. It would be great to have uh, a year where there's no controversy. <laughs> I mean, that would be nice, but, uh, um, you know, I just felt like I needed to stick up for my team. I mean, that's what a captain does, and um, I just I didn't agree with it, and so I just kind of let them know. When you saw what your team was doing there on Sunday, like you said, you always felt like you were going to win. Was there a moment on Sunday when you thought, hey, we might actually win this? Well, Jarena, as you know, Jarena Pillar's putt on 18 was, I mean, that was the match. I mean, of course, I mean, you know, Lexi tying Carlotta Saganda and, um, you know, Morgan winning her match. Uh, you know, and then, um, you know, Stacy lost a tough match, but she, you know, she played great. But then, you know, Jarena making that putt, 
And then all of a sudden after Jarena made that putt, uh, Lizette Solace made a putt to go two up. Um, Angela Stanford made a putt to go one up. And then all of a sudden it just kind of switched. And, um, and then it just all started um, raining red, white, and blue. You were knelt down on the side of the green there at 18 when Jarena Pillar was putting. You couldn't even watch. What was going through your mind? I couldn't watch, as you as you well know. I just, I just, I, I felt for her, um, but I also felt that you know, she was due to do something like this. I mean, she's been playing so well, and she hasn't really gotten over the hump and won yet. And I just felt, you know, I played practice rounds with her all the time, and I just felt like that week um, on Friday and Saturday she was realizing really how good she can be and and then her, for her to make that putt was amazing. You use what you call a modified pod system, grouping the players together based on a personality test that you had them take. What was it about this system that appealed to you? Well, I think it's really hard for a week to get 12 people to come together, but I think it's really easy for, if you get them in smaller groups to come together and uh, it worked like a charm. Um, it kind of limited me a little bit on pairings, mm -hmm. but as far as um, everybody taking um, initiative of their own pod and every, everybody taking um, responsibility for their own pod, they really did that. And, uh, you know, they were really pulling for each other. Um, you know, we'd get on the bus and, you know, I asked Michelle Wee, hey, is your pod you? here? Yeah, they're all here. Or, you know, hey, Angela, is your group here? Yeah, they're all here. So, or no, Brittany's not here or somebody's not here. So they, they were just, um, they took ownership of it and it was great to see them do that. Do you plan to use the same strategy in Des Moines? Yeah, I mean, I'll talk it over with them. You know, that's, I think, one thing with my leadership, it's definitely not a dictatorship. I mean, I, I you know, I want to hear from them what they think and, and uh, because they're the one that's uh, they're putting their name on the line. So, um, you know, I asked for a lot of help. Uh, Stacy Lewis was great. She gave me a lot of insight, which she thought, and, um, you know, I talked to a lot of them. You're a seven-time major champion, Hall of Famer, where does this experience as a Solheim Cub captain rank in terms of your career? Um, well, for me, it was number one. I mean, it was uh, it was great. I mean, I, and I've had some pretty special moments in golf, but uh, being able to be with that team um, and to be to be able to lead that team um, was an amazing experience. What are you most looking forward to when you return here to Iowa in 2017? Um, well, I'm looking forward to um, you know really getting to know the people and, and um, to kind of um, get them behind the USA team um, and uh, you know just being here and helping Chris out uh, promote the tournament, Chris Garrett, and just do what I can to make this thing a successful tournament.